Hello everybody, it's Stephanie with Planning with Peanutty. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am exploring one of the items that we got for free during the Go Wild conference. This was from the Erin Condren store. And it is a petite planner. And it's just a three month daily planner. So it starts April 1st, goes through June. It usually, you'd see these almost like a traveler's notebook where there'd be several notebooks like this in a little folio with the elastic strings that you would slide this into. Um, you could have the whole year in there. Some people have like food kind of um, recipe booklets or fitness booklets or budget booklets. Um, but so this one, I'm not going to buy all that extra stuff till I test it out and see if I like it. You do get stickers, some extra holidays that aren't printed in the planner, which is kind of nice because you can pick which ones you do want to include, which ones um, you don't celebrate, you could leave out. So you do get the monthly view like this and then the weekly, they're daily pages, but you can see Saturday and Sunday do share a page, which isn't my favorite because sometimes my Saturday and Sundays I have more to write than during days of the week. So I wish that those were full days, but I understand why they're doing it. And so the entire month is one color. And then when we get to May, it's going to switch to a different color. I think I was just trying to find it there. There we go. So you can see May is that peachy color. And then June is that kind of teal or turquoise. And then you get a page of notes at the back. And again, that pocket for a couple sheets of stickers. All right. So let's come all the way back out to the front. Since we have that sheet of holiday stickers out, what's nice is they already have them separated by the month for you. And you can see we have a couple holidays there. Um, I don't think I'm going to add those in. I don't need April Fool's Day in my planner. We get it. Okay, then let me flip back to the front. So I do have a family member's birthday. And in this sheet, you get these really cute asterisk stickers. You get kind of bullet points, some flags, and then you get birthdays, uh, celebrate, to do. So I think we can take the little birthday flag. And put it on the second there. Now these are just about the entire width of the calendar monthly box. There we go. All right. And then I just tuck those in for now. I think we can grab my pen and I'm going to use a color mild liner, this pretty blue color that I think coordinates with the color scheme. And I'm just going to write out real casual my name there. Nothing fancy. Okay. All right. Back to the monthly view. And I'm going to grab my go to black friction Pen. These are my favorites. If you mess up writing or commonly misspell words like I do or find yourself crossing a lot of stuff out and moving it, this is the best pen because you can just erase it. All right. And then I wrote in some things I know are happening in April. So then I thought we can come back in with some of these celebrate stickers. Maybe I could use one of these asterisks to mark birthday just in the notes here. I also haven't used their stickers before either. So it's been interesting kind of testing the stickers out as well. And so far I like them pretty well. All right. And then let's check out our daily view. So on the days of the week, you almost have like an hourly kind of view and you don't get that on the weekend. So I'm kind of kind of right like the big event that's happening on Saturday and then just put the times over here in the bullet point section. It looks more like a to do list, but I think we can just put the time and and the name of what's going on. And then that seems to work pretty well, like you're just putting in the time instead of having the time already printed on there. And then that way, if you didn't have much going on on Saturday, you could use it as to do or bullet points or chores. Okay. And then I think I'm going to come in and fill in more <laughs> later, 
but I just wanted to kind of start it off, get an idea of how that daily is going to be. I don't know how much I'm actually going to like that, <laughs> especially this size. It's a little bit smaller than I'm used to, but let me know if you want a follow-up on how it goes, but click like if you like this video, subscribe to see more. This is just testing out one of the items I got for swag from Go Wild. But again, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.